keep your eyes on the screen and your fingers on the keyboard. <laughs> keep your eyes on the screen and your fingers on the keyboard. <laughs> I raise my right hand, it looks to me on the screen, flipped around and I'm holding up my left. They've actually, the playback can't show it to you, but the playback on this is flipped. So I get a mirror, what looks like a mirror image. I think that's kind of weird because we're used to a mirror, you're used to a mirror image, right? When you look in the mirror, you're used to seeing basically what the Im image is backwards, it's flipped. But <clears throat> you can't do, they can't do that on, can't do that on playback because it confuses people. They're used to seeing them raise their, their right hand looking like it's their left. It's kind of weird. So it kind of makes me challenge my sense of proportion. So you have to bear with me if, if you want, want to make it through this video live <laughs> I, uh, I'm not not doing so well right now mentally or physically even I'm doing a little bit better than I was last night God what a trial I got a poem for you the 13th man 12 men sitting on the roadside watching us as we pass is it him? Is it him? The 13th man. This is my 13th video. This is it. This may be my last. Then what are you going to do? What are you going to do without me, huh? So anyway, earlier this week, this is Sunday, earlier this week, you probably should note the date too, September 8th, 2018. Earlier in the week, I posted a video called Slave Bait. It's about how cap the system of capitalism turns people into slaves. Now, I lived in a communist country for a while, and they didn't have, this was back in the 70s, they didn't have much, much wealth. I mean, they're all pretty much, it's like by our standards, they, we'd say they're all poor. But you know what I noticed is that they're all happy. They, they seem to have more of a stronger bond amongst themselves than we do. Capitalists are all scheming with each other, scheming with or against each other. These guys, they called each other comrade. And you know the drill. So anyway, it's about how capitalism causes strife. We end up with the highest incarceration world rate in the world in what should be the, what some people are calling the greatest, the greatest country. <laughs> yeah, right. The greatest country has the highest incarceration world, right in the world. And some guys think that's great. That's just great. So anyway, I did that and, and uh, linked it to opium, homeopathic opium, and posted a link, posted a, um, not a link, but posted Clark's dissertation on opium. It's really fascinating. So I got to reading this thing and uh, noticed that it seemed to be addressing some of the problems I'm having. Trembling. Well, I don't tremble so much, but I kind of start shaking sometimes to get the blood moving. It's voluntary. It's not involuntary. And uh, kind of a drying out of, the, of, the, of your insides and kind of a dryness and uh, paralysis. Well, I've been dealing with a lot of paralysis. Kind of comes and goes. In the mornings, I'm pretty spry, mainly from the dopamine that I'm taking. In the afternoons, I've already started to freeze up, no matter how much dopamine I take. And eating kind of kind of cuts off the, the remedy, the allopathic remedy. So I've been trying to figure out what the... Uh, homeopathic is. And pro I think the problem is that either I'm getting the wrong remedy or it's because as you get older, 
you get more you're <clears throat> you get less of vital vital um, <clears throat> your uh, dynamis, your vitality drops, and so you become more sensitive to these remedies and de tend to aggravate. So I would have aggravations on all these things. I thought I'd try opium, homeopathic opium. I'd have some. It's kind of hard to get. So I, this was on Thursday. Thursday I took a dose of homeopathic opium and didn't feel anything. On Friday, I went out to see my friend Dave and uh, visit him at his house. He lives in a beautiful house. He fixed me a great lunch. It was like an hour drive out there, an hour drive back through heavy traffic, especially on the way back. So by the time I got back, I was exhausted. I, you know, I get exhausted easily. And uh, Friday I woke up, and it began to hit me on Friday. And I got to the point where I was so paralyzed I could, I had trouble getting out of bed. Not so much trouble getting in, in bed. <laughs> You're gonna kind of fall. <laughs> but getting out of bed was a bit of a chore. And it's kind of terrifying, you know, to get to the point where you can hardly move. In other words, I'd had, I think what happened is I had an overdose of the homeopathic opium. So I've been fighting that. Today, that was that was yesterday, last night. The worst night I've had in a long time. This morning I had broken a sweat. The sheets were all wet. And uh, felt better. I'm still kind of still kind of dragging a little bit. Doggone it! Wish that kind of thing wouldn't ha happen to me. So anyway, you might want to read that section on opium in the last journal. If you're watching this on YouTube, my the John Bennett journal is at johnbennett.wordpress.com. If I can manage it, I'll put a link in the in the text section of the, of the YouTube video. Um, also, another thing that happened to me, I say it happened because it had an impact on me. So my friend Walt called me and played over the, over the cell phone, some video, some recording it sounded like some guy talking about me as if I was enemy number one, public enemy number one, <laughs> like what, who me? This guy's really, really experienced. You could tell he was kind of angry. And so I said, well, can you send me the link to that? And about an hour later, I got it. It took him about an hour to get the link to me on YouTube. And this was done years ago. And it was a, in, what started was a video I had made back in 2009 or something. Nine or 10 years ago. I made a video, for my first video on the mechanism, homeopathy how it works through this crystalline structuring, hydrogen-bonded crystalline structuring in water, and resonates a charge that's transducted, apparently, or partially, through the background Schumann resonances, background radiation, radioactive field. And it's kind of a corny video. I mean, I'm trying to make it sound important and trying to, you know, act like an authority, like I know what I'm talking about. But it generated a lot of excitement among skeptics. Came after me with, with hooks, you know, the torches and the pitchforks, standing at the door. Don't come in here. You come in here and you're in big trouble. So anyway, uh, my response to it was first, I hated it. I just hated somebody making fun of me like that. So I put in to have a takedown notice with YouTube. Take that video down. Take it down. Take this video down, Mr. Gorbachev. It's done by a guy named Concordance. Take this video down, Mr. Concordance. 
course, then that got him all excited because it made him temporarily take it down. <clears throat> where they got went over my claim, and uh, so he made a video in response. What happened is that people started reposting the video that I was in, sticking up for this guy. <laughs> I got more people to see the video than if I just left it alone. <laughs> just left this guy and said anything about it. It's like, yay, I win again. <laughs> anyway, my video got, I think it's got it's something like 11,000 hits. His video had, about my video, it had like 60,000 hits. <laughs> oh, I just can't win. <laughs> Then Randy, I'll, I'll post. I'll try to post the next video. I'll post this guy's video at the end of, the, of this one. You can see it for yourself. The injustice that I have to face. <laughs> Where's Hudson? Where's Hudson when I need him? Are you sleeping, Hudson? Hudson Larue, come down. Come down here and say hi to everybody. Come on. Jump. <laughs> Step on a high bed, jump. <laughs> oh, he doesn't care. I guess he's taking a break too. He's kind of lost his touch, touch too, just like me. <laughs> oh, Hudson. So anyway, I thought that'd be pretty funny. Post that guy's video so you could see it for yourself. This is the most controversial subject in the world. I know you may have heard me say that a million times, but the Washington Post ran a investigation on controversy on on the internet and the most controversial subject in the world second if anything only to christ jesus christ is homeopathy and it all centers around this one issue really what is it what's the chemical or what's the the uh, physical physical chemical description of it how is it that that solute the starting material in a homeopathic solution can be Diluted an infinite number of times and retain traces of the traces of it. How can how can it how can that be? How do it work? Like the two guys sitting around looking at a thermos. It keeps the hot things hot and the cold things cold. But how do it know? It's kind of the same thing with homeopathy. How do it know? How do how do it work? Well, I came up with the answer for that, too. I not only came up with the ways to detect it. This is almost 20 years ago when I got into this big fist fight with, well, I wasn't a fist fight, got into this big fight with Randy, James the Amazing Randy, James the Dishonest Liar. <laughs> Randy, you know, he had a this magician. They made a documentary about his life, and they called it An Honest Liar. I thought, boy, that's right on target. I hate calling people a liar. But sometimes I guess you just have to. Anyway, anywho, ran that video. And that's what got me. It kind of bummed me out at first because, you know, I'm just coming across as being so officious. So anyway, I need a cause. I need to get better. I'm feeling kind of dopey right now after that homeopathic opium. Still kind of trying to find out. Maybe I'll never do it. Maybe it actually caused brain damage. Don't play around with that stuff. That's another thing. People think that these these remedies don't have any <clears throat> to have any make any problems for you. That's not true. You can really screw yourself up on these things. I mean, look at me. God knows how many different remedies I've taken that just screws me up even more if you're not careful. According to one homeopath, Kent said you can kill somebody with this stuff. Cause tumors are separating poison people with heap our salt. Or using thuya, you can graft on symptoms for life. So I see this kind of this alliance between skeptics and homeopaths. Because the skeptics provide the homeopaths with sort of a cheap insurance way out you know, it's like well if homeopathy how do you explain homeopathy deal when you don't know how it works 
me say it's a placebo, so what, I kill the guy with, by giving him a, a placebo? I mean, I've actually had a homeopath tell me that he'd prefer that it just be considered a placebo. So that's why you don't find a big argument of people coming back. They don't want you to know how it works. But here's the problem with that, is that the basic element of the immune system response, action and response, is the electron, not the molecule, but the electron. And we homeopathy proves by its pervasive qualities that are carried on beyond di the last dilution, which is the 23rd decimal dilution or the 12th centesimal dilution, that theoretically there can't be any more than one molecule left in the solution. Well, the problem with that is that the molecular content of the solution, they think it, well, first of all, they think it, it dilutes out by the 23rd decimal dilution. But the problem with that is that actually it gets dissociated by the sixth dilution and turned into ions or le essentially electrons that then expand into the next into the next uh, dilution. So that's basically how it works. You know, the hydrogen atom I have found to be pretty kind of a fascinating species. It seems to be the fundamental element on a tetrahedral structural scale. The structuring of matter appears to have its fundamental, not particle, but its fundamental structure as the tetrahedron. I have to talk about that more later. Well, that's 16 minutes and 40 seconds. You know, I really need a cause. I need um, something to work for. And I was thinking about doing a GoFundMe page for a lady that has worked 15 years in the, in the uh, restaurant agency, the hospitality in, industry for a couple of restaurants. And when her knees started giving out, they fired her. You see these government employees that get these huge pensions after retiring at the age of 50. And here she's given a good portion of her life every day, every working day, going to work, busting her knees, literally busting up her knees, carrying heavy trays. And, he's, and her reward is to get fired because she can't clear tables fast enough. And, uh, thrown out on the street, essentially. You're on your own now. No pension. No chance to get Social Security. She's basically dependent on her kids now. She doesn't feel that she's competent to work with her knees all busted up. Now, how can, is that fair? Is that one person doing one job in this society gets gets his way, way paid at the age of 50, another, another person doing it? A real job. I mean, we're at work a day job. I mean, if it was, she wasn't doing something that was worth something, they wouldn't. She wouldn't be doing it. We're getting low wages, and basically the uh, the bums rush at the end of it all, with nothing. So I'd like to start a GoFundMe page for that, and if anybody can help me set that up, I'd sure appreciate hearing from you. My, if you want to give me a call about that. On my phone, you can call me at 503-819-7777. I think you can remember that. 503-819-7777. So anyway, that's about all I can stand for today. I really appreciate you tuning in. Hey, could you do something for me? Could you help me with this? Give me a hand with it. I'm trying to do as many of these videos as I can. I've got a lot more to say about things and the stories to tell that illustrate some really interesting things. You could really help me if you'd, if you'd share this video. Hit the share button at the bottom of the, of the YouTube page, or not the page, but right below the video. Share, hit the share button and 
send this out to your friends. I'd really, really appreciate it. Please, would you do please for me, your friend, your best friend, your only friend. If you do, you'll be my best friend, my only friend. Thank you. 942, that's close enough. Just enough time for a 10-second commercial. Quick, turn it off. 